Hey there, Mr. Witherow here. Okay, exponential decay. This happens when the quantity decreases over a period of time at a constant rate, all right? So when we, when we see something that being decreased by a constant rate over a period of time, then we say that it's exponential decay. All right, so there's a formula for this, so don't get too nervous about it, and that is that y is equal to a times one minus r squared, all right? So a times one minus r squared raised to the t power. All right, what does this mean? So a just means it's the original amount, right? That's where the a comes from, the original amount. The r, I don't know why I put a square there. Sorry, folks. I'm not sure where that squared came from. Um, it's just one minus r to the t power. Yikes. Ah, having all kinds of issues with this one. There we go. All right, so let's, let's start over here again. So the formula is y equals a times the quantity of one minus r raised to the t power. There we go, now I got it right. So the a is the original amount, the r is the rate, right? Rate, and that has to be in a decimal form, and we'll talk about that in a second. And then the t is the time. All right, we figured that. Now, when we're talking about decimals, so the rate most of the time is given to us in a percent. So like 3%. So in this case, something's gonna be losing some three by 3%, right? We're gonna lose some money at a rate of 3%. So what does that mean? That means that we gotta change this to a decimal. So we have to think that the decimal sits over here. This is really 3.0% right? But we don't ever put the point zero. So for us to change it to decimal, we have to move it to the left two spots. Now the decimal goes here and we fill it in with the zero. So 3% is 0 0.03. That's the, that's the decimal. They can throw a decimal in here like 2.5%. So now we see the decimal. So again, we're moving it this way, right? We fill in the, with the zero. And so now this is 0 0.025, um, and that's the, the, the decimal of that. So make sure that you're always moving it to the left. You're gonna move the decimal to the left, all right? Okay, so let's do a problem here. So here's the problem. We say a population of a town is decreasing by the rate of 1% per year. In the year 2000, there were 1,300 people, we're gonna to need to write a exponential decay function to model the situation, then find the population in 2008. All right, so they're gonna make us work a little bit here. So remember that the A is the original amount, right? So the original amount, that's the, the one that we start with. So that looks like it's the 1300, that's the A. The R is the rate. The rate is 1%, and we have to change that to a decimal, so we'll have to work on that. And then the t is for time, and that looks like we have to go from 2000 to 2008, so that looks like it's eight years, right? That's what we're looking for. All right, so let's just go ahead and do that. So A is gonna be 1300. The rate is going to be 1%. So we have to change that. So 1.0, we move the decimal over to the left, two spots. So this is 0 0.01. That's what it is, that's the rate. And the time is from 2008 to 2000, which is eight years. So the T is gonna be eight. So now we just fill in the information to, into the formula. So we would have Y is equal to the A, or the original amount, 1300 parentheses, one minus this 1% or 0 0.01, and then raised to the T or eight power. So notice that this is always gonna be less than one. So this is gonna be 1300. And then if you're not sure how to do this, then you get your calculator and turn it on and say one minus 0 
and that's going to be 0 0.99, 0 0.99 raised to the eighth power. Now, order of operations tells us to make sure that we do the power first and then multiplication. So that means that we're going to have to do 0 0.99 raised to the eighth power. So use the little caret to the eighth power and hit enter. And then we're going to multiply that by 1300. So now we're at 11, now this is people, so we have to round up here. So it looks like it's gonna be just basically about 1,200 people. That's what it is. So the population is decreasing by 1%. In eight years, it's gonna be from 1,300 down to 1,200. So that's what we're gonna do. So most of the time you just throw this into your calculator and you can be done. All right, cool, keep working hard.